Hello, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Martina and today I am so excited to invite you to join me for this video, which is a part of an amazing collaboration. So in the month of February, 21 artists are sharing videos all about tips and tricks for making junk journals, for making ephemera, everything that kind of helps you save time or save money um, and make your work both more pleasant and more efficient, I guess. And this collaboration was um, was started by, um, by the amazing Rachel from Rach and Bella Crafts. So I will leave all of the other participants below, linked below, and I hope you guys check them out. I hope you will enjoy it. I am so happy and so honored to be included uh, in this collaboration and to uh, work alongside all of those wonderful creators. So the focus of today's video, of my, uh, of my tips and tricks video, is going to be repurposing packaging and making fun things with, with it to add to your journals. And I don't know about you guys, but I get so much things um, packaged in plastic especially and I feel so bad well I recycle of course but I feel so bad when I have tons of plastic packaging that um, that I just have to throw out so sometime uh, back I've started to actually collecting it so as you can see I just have some uh, I've I've picked some random packaging so I have the cardstock piece and also the uh, plastic packaging and I knew that I definitely want to make something with those both with the paper and with the plastic of this packaging because honestly I think it's one of my favorite things kind of aspects of making junk journals and of this paper crafting that we do here is that we can literally use anything we don't have to have expensive supplies we don't have to really buy anything. We can use what we have. And so I thought we could... Well, my idea would be that I would like to make maybe a pocket or a belly band with a window using plastic. And then I would also like to make some kind of a card or tag to go in it. So I think without further ado, let's just start. So I'm going to take this out of the plastic and let's see. And this particular one is 19 centimeters by about 10. So it would be about seven and a half by, um, by about, let's say, just short of four inches. And I think this, um, this size is actually perfect for the journals that I'm usually making, but maybe I will just make it slightly um, lower. <clears throat> so my idea would be to collage oil of all over it. Okay, I think that's safe. So I want to make sure that this will fit within journal pages that I usually make. So my journal pages are usually about 20 centimeters and this was this is now about 18. So the idea is that I would like to collage all over it um, and then cut out a window. I'm thinking kind of in uh, in the middle and and then uh, treat it like a belly band or a pocket. I will, I will see which one I prefer, I suppose, when we are done here. So I'm just going to, as per usual, if you've seen my other videos, I'm just going to pick up some scraps. Sorry, this is my little scraps box. Some scraps that I can use to, to collage here. To make a nice nice background for my 
belly band or pocket and why I'm doing it this way which is why I am first going to collage and then mm, cut the window is because it's easier for me this way to be completely honest it's easier for me to collage the whole thing and then cut the window than um, cut the window first and then collage kind of over it okay let's see what we can make so this piece for instance i'm going to make sure that it is not on anything uh, like this because i've printed these on very uh, thin paper and so any text or any anything that's basically on on the packaging will be visible through it so i think i will just add those scraps the way I feel that they would look nice. <clears throat> Let's see, perhaps this way. And then we could maybe have this here or here for some additional interest. <clears throat> and then this, yeah, I think so. So I'm going to take my ruler. This is a tearing ruler. I got it from Amazon and it is by Joy Crafts. The brand is Joy Crafts. Okay, so I think I love it. I just need to have some torn edges on this piece as well <clears throat> because I don't really like very straight edges. And so I'm using all the different paper scraps. That's another tip I suppose is just using your paper scraps even tiny ones and layering them just oh like that you see just adding layers on top of layers <clears throat> to make them interesting I always start with the biggest pieces first as they cover the most of the background uh, I think I'm going to take wet glue for this as they cover most of the background and they deal with this intimidation of the blank space of the blank page <clears throat> excuse me and then I, I like to layer on top of them with all of the other pieces okay I think there's a little bit of too much of glue here so maybe this one next I'm also not worried about uh, those edges hanging off here because I'm going to trim them uh, I'm going to trim them when the, the collaging part is done so I hope you guys are all right. I hope you are well and you are safe and you are and you have a lot of creative energy. Please, please do check the description box and all of the other videos. I've actually been sick for the for the past week, so um, I haven't yet had a chance to to actually catch up on all the videos from the other ladies but i can't wait to do it this this weekend and to see what what sorts of tips and tricks they have for us you know uh, an interesting thing is that um and an amazing thing <laughs> is that I've been uh, doing this, I've been making journals for close to three years and there is still so much I can learn and still so much that I learn from other people. Everyone has their own style, everyone has their own way of doing things. So I do really love videos like this. 
and I am very grateful to be part of, of this collaboration. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see. Maybe something like this. So this one next. So definitely don't throw out your your packaging. I also have a From Trash to Treasure playlist uh, here on my channel in which we uh, basically turn trash to treasure. So we, we've had a couple of projects. Mm, we made a junk journal using Amazon packaging and other packaging uh, items. We made an ephemera holder. Whoops. So there's definitely more inspiration to check. And also, of course, recycling is good, but I think this is even better <laughs> because we are actually turning our packaging into something that we or someone else, someone we we gift it to, is going to enjoy and is going to use in their journal. So. I think that's amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys, if I sound a little bit incoherent or, you know, my chatting is not cohesive. <laughs> um, but like I said, I've been, I've been sick. I am definitely on the mend now, but I don't feel like a hundred percent myself yet. So I have a little bit of trouble focusing at some, at some points and especially talking in English, you know, talking, uh, speaking in English is always the first thing that, that shows that I'm distracted because like I could probably talk to you guys in Polish, but since English is my second language, it's always just a little bit more difficult and demanding so I am, when I'm um, when I'm distracted you can usually tell okay I love this I think it's super pretty now my idea is that I'm going to actually turn this around and I'm going to take something that would be rectangle I'm sorry for for reaching, but let's see. This will be my template for for my window. So maybe something like this. I actually like it. And then I'm going to try to kind of eyeball it and center it. I will take a pencil, go around it. Now you could do it a few different ways. You could use your scissors if you have really nice sharp scissors. You could use a craft knife like a scalpel and a ruler. But what I'm going to do is probably not the most precise option, but it's the fastest for me. And I'm going to use my paper cutter to cut along these lines. Now with the paper cutter that I have, it's a little bit tricky because I have the, um, the kind of round knife. Um, so it can be a little bit tricky, but I'm not, I'm not trying to be perfect here. This is after all going to go to, to a junk journal. Okay, and also the way I did it, so the the kind of the order, so I first collage and then I'm cutting my window, also has one more advantage, I guess, which is the rectangle piece that I am cutting out will already be collaged and we will be able to very quickly turn it into a nice journaling card. <laughs> so this is like two in one. We will have our window pocket 
and a journal card. Okay, so I think that's it here. And I will now take my craft knife and delicately go over those corners where it didn't cut all the way through. Oh, it's pretty much pretty much perfect. Okay, let's see. Oh, I really like it. I really like it. And then, like I said, we have our little journaling card, which just needs some backing. So I would probably back it. Is it enough? Yeah, it is. I think it is. So let's do it. Let's actually do it now. So I would back it with um, tea stained paper. And voila, we have another piece of ephemera from packaging ready to be used. Okay, and we can actually add some ribbon or something like that to it later. Or maybe a little flower as a focal point. And we will see. Oops, not here. <laughs> not this way. This way it wouldn't fit. This way. Awesome. <clears throat> And there is even a little bit of gold here on this scrap. And yeah, let's put it aside. Maybe we will finish it later. So for this, now where's my pack? My plastic. My plastic is here. So I'm going to cut this piece of plastic open on all four sides so I can have just one sheet. Okay, I'm going to take the the one with with no print on it. And it will go behind here and it will be a nice nice window. I love it. So if, before that <clears throat> Let me ink, ink here. That's what I always like to do with window pockets, window envelopes. I, I like to ink inside and I'm also probably going to add just a little bit of gold inside because what it does, it is making our window pop and It's kind of more visible, I would say. So I have this gold paste. Um, this is a Polish brand, but any gold paste, gilding paste, gilding wax, anything like that will do, or gold uh, texture paste. And with my finger, I am just adding a thin layer, a bit messy. That's why I'm doing it with my finger because I like it a bit, a bit messy like this <clears throat> all around inside of my, of my window. Awesome. Now, I think I am actually going to <clears throat> maybe stitch around here when I have my, um, my plastic in the window ready so let me let me see um, okay let's make it a tad bit thinner and I think I need to clean my fingers from this gold because it's going to to be everywhere Okay, 
That should be better. These little pieces can go to the bin. <clears throat> so. Like that. It fits perfectly. So I am going to... What type of adhesive? I think I'm going to go with double-sided tape but not close to the window because I am going to be stitching around, I think, on my sewing machine. And I am not sure, well, I'm definitely sure my glue stick wouldn't hold it. Wet glue probably could hold it, but I think for a material like this, double-sided tape is just just a perfect adhesive. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is now stitched. I hope you can see a bit of a messy stitching around, which is the way I like it. And now I have here a lot of fussy cut flowers. And I was thinking about maybe adding one of those somewhere here. This is another thing that I really like to do whenever I'm making window pockets or envelopes and it is and it is uh, adding a like an image mm. maybe this one Ooh, maybe in this one actually adding an image which would be kind of overlapping the the window and I think I love this one I love it so let's let's attach it mm, where's my wet glue here it is <clears throat> and then we can think about making an ephemera piece for it. Before that, I'm going to kind of think about how I want this to be. If I want it to be a, a belly band, a top loading pocket, a tuck spot, or a side loading pocket. There are so many options. And and so many things that you can do with a piece like this. I think it's pretty. What do you guys think? Let's see if I have a piece of of something that it would be on top of in a journal. So let's think. Uh, this could be a top loading pocket, but I'm actually thinking a side loading pocket for a large journaling card, what do you guys think? <clears throat> uh, so for this, I would probably take another one of, of those. Oh, this is nice. Uh, they usually, the packaging is glossy, but it is nice and, and matte. And I think I'm going to just cut off this bit. This would, by the way, this would also be super nice if you just covered the uh, the brand name and all of that uh, for maybe a tag topper or something like this. Let's see. Yeah, I think it would fit almost perfectly. I would make it slightly uh, narrower. just slightly narrower and I think that it will be perfect so I would glue my pocket to the page on these three sides and then this will be sliding here and I would probably make a little tab of some sort here so let's see what we can do about this journal card 
and I think I'm going to use similar scraps, uh, scraps of similar papers perhaps to or maybe this one. Oh, actually we could cover it almost entirely with this one. Let's do this. Uh, to kind of uh, keep things cohesive, this is also a, like a bonus tip uh, that if you are making a few things and you would like to kind of have them as a set of, um, of things, it's always nice to use the same pattern or the same paper or the same anything across all of those projects. And so they will look like they are they are a set. Oops. Where's my baby wipe? Okay, just want to make sure these edges are, are covered with the glue. Mm -hmm. Let's put it here with this, this little thread. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm doing a similar thing. Uh, starting with the biggest piece. And then I'm probably just going to layer over it to add some more interest to this journaling card and of course it also needs to be backed because well first of all this is not very pretty um, but there is also not too much space for journaling this way by the way these papers this as well are from my vintage rose digital kit uh, which is available in my Etsy shop and now let's see what other scraps I could use here like I said just for a layering for adding a little bit of interest and this is a nice Shakespeare quote can I tear around it? This is from a an Edith Holden book, of course. Maybe I can tear this piece out. So I can add it somewhere. Now I also want to remember that this is going to go inside here. So I would like to make sure that I like what's picking through the window, you know, that it matches, that it's kind of... Um, I think I'm going to maybe add another flower here. We will see. We will see. What else could I add? What else do I have here? Mm. Let me move it closer so you guys can actually see. How about a bit of this? Just here in the corner, this is from an old French book and maybe a piece of, of music paper up top there. Although I do like this piece, not sure if I want to cover it up, but I would like maybe one more piece of, of something 
Oh, also another, uh, I suppose another tip is that we made our window from plastic packaging, but many times I've also made windows with uh, material like that. And so this is tracing paper that I believe some package that I received was wrapped in. Where this, this is a little bit of embossed uh, piece. This is a vellum piece, which is actually on kind of inside of the chocolate box, uh, covering the chocolates, if you know what I mean. Uh, so these are also perfect, perfect for making windows. Let's glue these pieces down. And let's see. Yeah, I think it's enough actually. I think it's enough. So, so far we are going to see this, which I really like. Now let me think, do I want another flower inside? So do I want a flower on my card? And what sort of flower? Should it be pink to match the one that we have here? Or maybe something else, maybe a yellow flower for some contrast. Or this, oh, maybe this one. They would look like they are facing each other. Let me see if I am going to cut this side. No, it would have to be here. So I think. It would be a little bit too, too small. No, I don't really like it, but I think I like this card the way it is, to be honest. Alrighty, so we need to back it with something. And I have, oops, not this, I have this piece, which is not going to be enough, but... This one neither, but that's okay. We can add something. Something else to this corner. Mm -hmm. This little piece which could go here perhaps so even we will even have a little bit of collage on the back which is always fun I think so this could go here and then maybe some some more Edith Holden maybe even here because I can still see the barcode on this, under this coffee paper. So this would go here. And then maybe this. Why not? This is another piece of packaging, uh, packing paper. Just your regular brown packing paper or masking paper even. Great. Let's cut around it and let's see what we've got. One more thing is that I am going to want to add uh, some sort of a tab and I'm thinking some fabric just to 
uh, make it a little bit more textural, the, just add some different texture to all the paper that we have going on. Okay, let's see. Oh, I like it. I really like it. There is a nice space for journaling here, a little bit of, of poems. Awesome. So I think for this one, I want to do the same thing that I did with the window, which is pink around and then add a little bit of gold around it. So that I make them, you know, as a set, <laughs> so that they match with each other. This way. Hmm. I think it's really pretty. Simple yet pretty, right? Okay, so for the tab. For the tab. I have my little box of, <clears throat> excuse me, of a more fabric scraps. So how about I take a piece of this lace and or maybe this lace actually. Maybe this lace. <clears throat> this is a bit more let's go substantial. So it's it's going to make a more sturdy tab. I think I would like it here because when we are going to be sliding it in and out of our pocket this will make it easier if we have it on the side. So just one more thing maybe I have some other piece of fabric that I could add. <clears throat> to this lace to make it a bit more special. Let's see. How about... How about something like this? So a bit of lace and a bit of gold. And the way I'm going to attach it, you could glue it, you could stitch around it, but what I'm going to do as I'm actually going to staple it because I do like staples. It's super quick and I have those um, staples which are coppery color. Um, so I really like actually adding them. <laughs> and I like that we see this gold through here. It, it adds a little bit of something special, I think, in the window. And we can actually have it like this, so we see it here and here. Oh, I love this. Okay, so that would be this piece complete. And the last, last thing that I want to do is I want to maybe do something with this cutie. And how about actually... Well, this flower would be perfect here. So let me quickly go inside here with my Tim Holtz scissors and I'm going to cut this out. So these aren't actually all hand fussy cut. Um, I love fussy cutting. Uh, but I've recently got a brother scan and cut machine and it, it helped me tremendously because while I love fussy cutting, it does take a lot of time and I use a lot of those images in my crafting. So while well, it was an investment, an investment 
Um, I'm definitely using using it a lot and it's helping me a lot. So just in case you're wondering how much time did it take her to fussy cut all of those, well thankfully I didn't have to do it all by hand. Okay, I'm thinking like that. Awesome, and I will just add a little bit of inking around here. And I think we can call it done. So let's see what we've got. Right, so we've used packaging, we've used the plastic packaging and also cutstock packaging from anything really, from stickers, from stencils, from stamps, from anything you've got. And we made three pieces out of, out of them. And so we have our pocket and I decided to go with a side loading pocket. So these three um, sides will be glued to the page. And we have our plastic window here, which I think I will show you guys in uh, in a close-up in just a second and then we have the card which goes inside with a fabric tab and um, also some collaging on the front with a nice quote and then some more quotes on the back and some journaling space and it will slide right back to the pocket and then also we have this cute little journaling card which was actually cut out from here so um, yeah so you didn't have to waste anything okay so let me show you guys up close while I thank you for joining me for today's video I hope you enjoyed this project I hope you found some inspiration I hope it was useful and I do hope you guys will check the description box check all of the amazing creators that take part in this collaboration and learn from them craft with them and thank you so much so much rachel for organizing this amazing collaboration and for inviting me to take part in it i had so much fun with these uh, and i honestly i can't wait to make more of these pockets um, so yeah thank you so much guys for watching and i will speak to you very very soon in the next video bye